Welcome back to the Junk Room, where everybody is me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with Ozzy Nelson on my shirt. People's like, who's that on your shirt? I'm like, that's Ozzy Nelson, the original Oz. You can buy that at junkmanmerch.com, but I think I'm the only one that will buy it. I've had a lot of comments saying there's a lot of different people. So you people don't know who Ozzy Nelson is. Anyway, I'm wasting time here. It's time for a noon video, and I thought I haven't done a top 10 list where I'll read them off my card and throw them at the camera and everything. I haven't done one in a while, and I started thinking, what am I going to do one on? Well, I'm turning 50 this year. I got to, and not until September, but you know, when you start getting that age, you start thinking back to your childhood or when you were younger, and you start thinking about things you probably will never do again. You're like, man, I'll never do that again. I'll... Uh, it's like that time back in Tijuana, but I think it was 1997. Well, I can't talk about that. Uh, anyway, I got a list of some things I can talk about. Ten things I don't think I'll ever, ever do again. Sad, isn't it? We have to get old, I guess. And some of these I couldn't do if I wanted to. Some of them I would look silly if I was doing them today. And then some of them, I don't even know why I did them back then. But here's ten things. I'll never do again. Number 10. Ooh, I know I won't do this one again. Jump a ramp, or a homemade ramp, I should say, on my bicycle. Whoa, what a great time as a kid. Get a cinder, get a cinder block, put up a piece of plywood you find, or something, some kind of ramp, anything you can make a ramp out of. Just jump over that ramp, see how far you get. Your friend would mark it, then he would try it. Oh, Good times, good times. We had a big hill coming down from my house. So you get a lot of speed on your bicycle, go up that ramp, jump about that far. But you swore you were evil Knievel. And I know I'll never jump a ramp on a bicycle again. Never again, never again. That didn't do too good. So why did it always go down my back? Ah, Speaking of jumping, here's number nine. I'm jumping again. Man, I was a jumping kid. I was a jumping fool, I guess. I'll never jump the creek. Now, growing up, I had a bunch of woods behind my house, and I don't know. There was this one part of the creek, well, a lot of part of the creek, but there was one special area where you could run down the hill, jump from one side of the creek to the other creek. I mean, it wasn't too long i don't know I, i'm not good at feet and everything but it was you could stand on the edge and jump and make it usually but you would hit right on the edge if you were you know about 10 years old or you run down the hill and see if you could jump over and you would always get scared right there before you jump so you was chicken out right when you got to the edge and it wasn't even a far dr jump it was probably you know probably six foot if that i don't even think it was that that far down but it was scary to me as a little kid it was the grand canyon i can remember those excitements like, i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it this time i'm gonna do it this time. i'm trying to psych myself into it which i've done it before psych myself into it. i'm gonna do it. i'm gonna jump the creek this time i'm gonna jump the creek in this one little area and i'll never know that feeling again of trying to jump the creek it's kind of like i'll never swing on a vine in the woods again that was not on my list that was a freebie for you but jumping the creek i know i'll never jump the creek again i threw that card you didn't see it but you heard it i am being bad at throwing cards today let's see number eight can you believe we're at number eight already i'll never listen to a movie again on a record as i look at the picture and that record tells me to turn the page this was my netflix back then i can remember getting raiders of lost ark on a little 45 record you put it on there and they start telling you the story of raiders and there's you'll know it's time to turn the page when you hear the bullwhip crack like this i loved it i loved it i had the star wars one r2 tell you turn the page empire G i had all these man well, honestly, I only had Star Wars Return of the Jedi. That's all I wanted. But I listen to these things over and over again, and I don't care what movie comes out today, I'll know I'll never just lay on my floor in my bedroom and listen to a movie on a record telling me to turn the page. I know it said read along, but I didn't read along with it. I, if I want to read, I read. I don't want to read. I got better things to do with my time. Read. Whew. Whew. Ah, my friend Boy, when I was little, he used to read on purpose. And I'm not talking about TV guide. Read books. What in school didn't even make him read? He just read it for the fun of it. Where are we at now? Number seven. I'll never go to the dentist and come home and eat red tablets again. 
I don't know. How, I don't know how you guys know what I'm talking about. But I remember going to the dentist. They would give you these awful red tablets, and you were supposed to chew them and look in the mirror. And I think if your teeth wasn't red in certain spaces, that means you had a cavity there, or you wasn't brushing there good, or something. I don't know what it was. I remember it was awful. It tastes like red chalk. It was the worst thing in the world. But I just love doing it because you could turn, you could just you know, smile real big and show your teeth in the mirror. I liked it. I liked it. I hated doing it because it tastes so bad, but I did like seeing my red teeth. You're like, oh, that's why I didn't brush my teeth. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about here? I just went all over everybody's head. Was that just my dentist? <sighs> Eating red tablets for the dentist. There we go right there. Where are we at now? I think we're at number six room. At six room. I'll never hook up that little TV box with a butterfly knife again. I, I, you don't know what I'm talking You know, it's a little box on well, the back of your TV. I plugged my Nintendo into it, I think. I know the Atari went into it. But you, I never had a screwdriver for this thing. I always use a butter, a butter knife. Everybody I know used a butter knife. You know what I'm talking about? It was like a little box and it had a switch on it. It said, like, computer or AV or TV. I don't know what this thing's called. I'm sure some of you Radio Shack nerds out there will tell me. And I'm sure Radio Shack sold this thing. But you know, whenever you hooked up any electronics, you had to have this thing. It had like two little spike things on it. You had to tighten it down with the butterfly. I remember using my fingernail a lot. I don't know why they have screwdrivers. I don't know. Maybe my family didn't allow me to be around screwdrivers. I don't know what it was. But I don't ever remember having a screwdriver for that thing. I just remember using a butter knife. Now, I thought that's the only thing butter knife. That's the only time I ever used a butter knife. Didn't use it for butter, that's for sure. Uh, number five. Sadly, I'll never do this again, but I don't know if it's sad. If I don't need to do this anymore, thanks to the internet, I'll never find porn in the woods again. As I said, I grew up with woods behind my house. We were always hanging out in the woods. Who was leaving all the porn in the woods? Was it just in my area? Was it just me? Was it just my family? Was it just my relatives? Was it just my neighborhood? Or, I, porn in, I don't know. It's porn magazine in the woods. I I always hoped I would see someone making a porn in the woods, but I never did. But, I don't know, I just always saw, you know, I remember there were always good hiding places. I remember we had this big piece of concrete in the woods. I don't know where it came from, how it got there. It was a huge piece of concrete, and it had a little opening in the back. Every once in a while, you get lucky, there was a porn rolled up and stuffed in there. I guess they was like, I'm done with it, maybe for the next person. The next pervert hanging out in the woods. But then came the internet kids today they don't know how exciting it was to find porn in the woods do you did you find porn in the woods let me know that's number five number five Look, i'll never ever again worry about miss nelson when she goes missing miss nelson miss nelson nelson not ozzy nelson miss nelson no not harriet miss nelson does anybody know what i'm talking about she went missing one time and a witch showed up to teach the class or like a witch to me Miss Nelson. Anybody remember that? Miss Nelson? I'm curious who can relate to some of these top tens. This is really specific here. Number three. I'll never again use a pencil to trace the streets on the back of a Sweet Pickles book. Now, when I mean the back, I mean the back flap. You open it up and there's a map of Sweet Pickles. The Sweet Pickles town. There was Alligator, Hippo. I don't know their names. There was a bunch of them. And I would take my pencil and be like, okay, I'm, I'm Alligator looking for his shoe. And I drive all around, make lines all over the book. I don't know why. And then I erase it and have to do it again later. Sometimes I wouldn't erase it. I have a bunch of lines in my book. Or you erase it too much and you have a hole in it. But yeah, you just lay on the floor and trace on the map where the car was going. Again, I, I think this is really over everybody's head. Maybe this is too, too specific. Someone out there, Sweet Pickle Book. You know what I'm talking about, right? Somebody, please. Number two, getting excited at the end of the movie because I'm waiting for that. Up next on HBO Logo. You know what I'm talking about? You didn't know what was coming on HBO next, but you're watching a movie. It was the big red one. I don't know why. Whenever I was sick from school in the early 80s, the big red one was always on HBO. And I guess I had a little TV guide or something I could look. But I like not looking. I like watching the end of the movie. And then they'll do that logo, that Up Next logo. <sighs> Hopefully I can find it on YouTube. If I did, I'm going to edit. I'm going to put it right here. Join Moki, Boober, Red, Wembley, Marjorie, the Gorgs, Uncle Traveling Mac. Where? Down at Fraggle Rock, next on HBO.
Oh, just get me excited right now just thinking about it. Who oh, you would cross your fingers and you oh my god. Ah, oh, the man with one red shoe. Mm-hmm. I used to get so excited to see what was coming up next on HBO. And here's what's coming up next on the top 10 things I'll never do again. Because we're at number one. Number one right here in my hand. Number one right here in my hand. Let's see what it is. I'll never call a radio station again requesting a song while I sit there with my finger on the pause button getting ready to record it. Remember doing that? You got it, man. You kids today got it, man. You want a new song, you got it on YouTube. You got it at your fingertips. You got it on your phone. But no, if I heard a new song, I wanted to hear it. Let's say I wanted to hear Paradise City by Guns N' Roses. I had to put my cassette tape in if I wanted to record it. Call the radio station. To be honest, my radio station wasn't going to take your request unless you had a female voice. But anyway, you call up there and you're like, hey, can you play Paradise City, man? And you wait and wait and wait and wait and they would never play it. But they'd get around to playing it anyway because it's on the playlist. So you just really just have to wait. But you feel like they're playing it for you when they really it wasn't. Even when they do a request night, they never did. They never did play my request anyway. But you sit there, you put the tape in, you have to push play and record at the same time. And you push pause or hold down pause. So that way you can let your finger off and you go, okay, coming up next. And like, coming up next, one of the biggest songs of the year. And you're like, here it comes. You take your finger off. And you realize, that's not Paradise City. Then you have to take the cassette tape and roll it back with your finger a little bit. Or run it back. You don't want to run it back too far. Because at the beginning of the tape, there was probably about 30 seconds where it wouldn't record anything. It was all blank. So you run it back to your finger and get it just right where that tape's going to start. Push play, record at the same time. Push that pause button down. Get ready again. Whew. I'll never do that again. To be honest with you, I don't know if I really want to do that one again. Whew. Now I just go to uh, whatever music app I have and listen to a song. Well, that's 10 things that I'll never do again now that I'm approaching 50 years old. I'll never do it again. I'll never do it again. There's other things I would never do again, but we're not allowed to talk about that on YouTube. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments some things you probably will never, ever do again. But you're like, man, it'd be fun if I had the energy, I had the ponies to do it again well let me know that and more in the comments below and until the next video we will talk again hey jump man <laughs> channel popping though thank you sir for that unsolicited testimony <laughs> <laughs>